Aslam Mazurs here for the Car Guide, and we're in Brossard, Quebec, uh, at, a, at, a, at an informal but very, very informative uh, driver training program put on by Mitsubishi Canada. And we are in the Mitsubishi Outlander, Outlander GT, which is the only Outlander that has the uh, super all wheel control, all wheel drive system. And what it does essentially is it, it it distributes the torque to the front wheels and also uses the brakes to help steer the car, which is especially helpful um, when you're almost on the edge of control on snow and ice. Unfortunately today, it's been a mild winter. We don't have that much snow here. In the slalom that's behind me, I had a very good demonstration of when you're pushing it a bit, how the application of the brakes and the torque distribution helps steer it back where it needs to go. Uh, we did three different exercises today. One of them was a braking test uh, where two wheels were on snow and two wheels were on pavement and it was an emergency braking. And it, it did very well there. You, you barely feel the difference. It stops in a straight line. Braking distance obviously is a little bit longer than it would be on, uh, on asphalt, but it was very easy to control. Uh, we're in an Outlander uh, GT, which has um, super all-wheel control, but here it's just strictly a braking test. We have snow on one side of the track, asphalt on the other side. We're gonna just speed up to about 40 kilometers an hour and then hit the brake like in an emergency, and it should just stop. Nothing else should happen. Mm -hmm. right. Same test, just a little faster. Alrighty, when you're good. Push, 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 push. And brake. No panic. All good. All good. We did another uh, exercise which they called the moose avoidance uh, exercise and basically somebody just uh, uh, pointed and you were supposed to go in the opposite direction uh, which emphasized how the, the system helps steer the car by applying the brakes or uh, diverting torque to the outside wheel and again it did very well there and you go all right on the op uh, opposite side can do that faster, right? Okay. The third test is a slalom, an outright slalom. And that's where I, I felt it the most where when this, the, the, the vehicle started to push the front end, you can feel the brakes actually start to apply on the inside and it pulled the car in. A very effective system. Unfortunately, today, there's no snow on the ground. We've had a mild winter. It would have been much better test if there was snow on the ground, but can't mess with Mother Nature. Uh, but still, the uh, $38,000 Outlander GT did very well. And um, hopefully next time we'll have a little bit more snow. Yeah, that's good. All right. That's good. That's good. Could you could, could you feel the system working a bit for you when you went in, like uh, like? Not on the asphalt. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I heard it and I felt the inside brake. Yeah. Yep, we're good. <laughs> that, that was easy. <laughs> One 
Uh, we're done for the day. The Outlander GT starts at $38,000 and um, I just wish there was a little bit more snow to give it a better, better chance to, uh, to d defend itself. But it, it did very well today. Until next time, Costa Missouri signing out.